Hello YouTube fans, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lena. I'm a first year medical student in the United States. And since I have uploaded my last video about using iPad as a study tool, a few of you asked me about how I use Notion to take notes. So in this video, I'll be talking about how I use Notion to take notes, store my notes, organize my notes in a way that helps me actually review the concepts. If you don't know what Notion is, it's basically like an app that you could download on your laptop, on your computer, iPad, or iPhone. It's like a personal blog for your life where you could insert pages customizable to your own needs. To a certain degree, it's almost like my second brain where I store a lot of information, not only studying notes, but also my budget, recipes I want to try out, all in this one app. But in this video, I will be talking about how I specifically use Notion to type notes and store my notes for my medical school lectures. So this is an example of anatomy lecture. So let me go into the, the specific unit and then specific lecture. As you can see here, I've listed all of my notes and turned them into certain questions. When I see this question, I would silently answer it to myself or go over it in my brain at first before I check the answers by clicking on this little toggle here. And then I'll see the answer and see if I got the answer right or wrong or if there is more information that I'm supposed to know that I did not add on to my original answer. That's the whole strategy called active recall, also known as just quizzing yourself about the information that you learned. Research has proven that this strategy called active recall really helps you to memorize the information better. Now I'm going to do a demo of how I actually made these pages and how I organize the information. Usually in medical school, we get the lecture slide and then there will always be learning objectives associated with each lesson. So I basically copy and paste all of these learning objectives onto Notion and turn them into basic questions such as explain um, the mechanism of a certain reaction, describe the blah 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 process. So right here, that's what I'm doing right now. I then highlight all of them and turn them into toggle list. So right here, I'm clicking on the toggle. Keep in mind that these notes are created for future you to review. That's why we use the toggle function here. We want to turn our notes into a little quiz for future reviews. So during the lecture, I would watch the lecture and then type in the notes under the corresponding objectives. And then screenshot certain lecture slides and paste it into Notion for like good visual information or good graphics. Sometimes I also annotate the slides before I copy and paste it onto Notion. So after the lectures, I would review the notes to see if I could create more sub questions under a big objective. Could I actually break it down into several parts and turn them into sub questions for my review? Also, like I said earlier, add on good pictures or annotated graphics to the notes from the lecture slide. So immediately after the lecture, I would go over the questions and see how much I memorize. Usually I would memorize around like 50% of information and I would say that's good enough because you're going to come back to the notes and review it again and again. And also for future reviews, I only look at the questions, try to recall as much as possible, and then use the toggle function to check the answers. I also like highlight some of the parts and then type in comments associated to questions I have related to the answers or link other resources as well as important parts that I forgot when trying to answer the question myself. And that concludes the whole Notion demo for how I take notes. Notion, of course, is not the only tool I use in medical school for taking notes. If you've seen my other videos, I also use GoodNotes to take notes on my iPad directly on the lecture slides. I also use Anki and a bunch of other study tools. So for more videos on how I study in medical school and study tips for you as a student, please subscribe to my channel and there will be more videos to come. Let me know if you enjoyed this video by clicking on the thumbs up button down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.